Hello everybody, my name is Jamal W. Childs. I am a medically retired Army veteran at 100%. TV show is to educate the veterans, the general public, and family members on how to navigate the Veterans Benefits Administration and Health Administration of Veterans Affairs. I'm presenting to the general public and the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this book is the mental health book called the DSM-5. This manual has hundreds of mental health conditions contained in this manual where they can give us diagnosis for our conditions, injuries, and disability. People, your brain is damaged. Nobody's telling you that, that your brain is damaged. It's endorphins in our brains, it's chemicals in our brains that have release and they, it's, it's like overdrive. You have racing thoughts, chronic nightmares, night sweats, anxiety, anger, frustration. Nothing in this book say you're crazy. So I get sick and tired of people talking about I'm crazy. This is just one manual they use. This is another manual. CFR, Title 38, Bonuses, Pensions, Veterans Relief Part 4. This medical manual has approximately 1,800 conditions that we can file claims for, for the human body. So the human body can endure a whole lot, but you gotta understand something. If you're still living, you can do something for yourself. So the ones, I just take my hat after all the veterans that are not here no more, no matter what branch they went in. Even the most disrespected veteran in the United States of America are Vietnam veterans. A lot of them have succumbed to different diseases, conditions, and disabilities coming back from Vietnam and they never got a dime from the VA. So we gotta pay homage to our brothers and sisters no matter what color they are or what part of the country they come from or their religion. I wholeheartedly will stand on that. This is the other thing. This is CFR. This is the table of contents. This book has 200 in 70 some pages, I printed it out. Table of contents. So this is if you want to educate yourself on your in particular situations with the Veterans Administration. This is another CFR, Code of Federal Regulations. See how huge this is? People say, hey, where did you get that book from? I did the research to get the book because I want to educate myself what I need to do for myself. And I think this book is over a thousand pages. But I know that everybody can't maneuver these different situations and try to understand what's in these manuals to make it applicable to their self on a consistent basis. That's why you need to try to find a service rep or somebody to help you put the proper paperwork in so you get your entitlements and benefits. Now, the VA only pays for trauma. So if you're going in there talking to your doctors about the football game and the cake you had last week, that's cool, but that's not the conversation you should be having with them. The conversation more says should be, how does your conditions hinder your daily living? How do your disabilities hinder your daily living? How do you feel on a consistent basis? Well, nobody's happy 24 seven. So it's not like you gotta be making this stuff up. It is what it is. If you have a back injury, you have a back injury. If you have one leg longer than the other leg, you have it. If you have hemorrhoids, you have hemorrhoids. Gynecological disorders for females is astronomical in, the, in this book. Another thing, the females need to go to the woman's clinic and get a doctor in a woman's clinic and you need to get a primary care doctor. But the biggest problem with people is this, they don't wanna go to the doctors. They think that somebody's just gonna come with their open hands. You come with closed fists, they think you're coming with open hands and give you what you need. It don't work like that, especially for African Americans, Native Americans, poor whites, and things of that nature. It's not happening in some Hispanics. I would say some Hispanics, but more or less what I'm saying, that if we don't sit down there and help each other, you can forget this. They set up their system for, for people to fail. And whoever they is, the United States Congress, the United States House of Representatives, the United States Senate, and all those government agencies. So when people come out the military, the Department of Defense has all our records. So people say, I can't get my military service treatment records. 
they have your military service treatment records because the Department of Defense is the one is a host of the military service treatment records. We want to be able to look at this not as challenging as this. So if you thought this was challenging going through boot camp, imagine back then when people didn't have all these computers and all the stuff they got right now and all these phones. You know, we got phones, look at this. I got a phone right now, I can order my food, I can order my clothes, I can pay all my bills, I ain't even got to go outside. Well, when I went in the service, we didn't have all that. So, try to do your best to make sure you make appointments and articulate that if you was a truck driver, if you was in helicopters, flying helicopters, if you jumped out of airplanes, that these injuries come from your tour duty and what you did. You know, a lot of people don't understand that you got to make your doctor's appointment and you got to pick up your medication. If you don't pick up your meds and make your doctor's appointment, the, the VA can mess with you. And, and people are like, well, I'm good. No, ain't no such thing as that. It don't work like that. So that's why they give us travel pay. So they can compensate you for your time driving, catching the bus or train, or however else you get to the VA. So this is what I want to talk about next how all this stuff started with me. TV show is to educate the veterans, the general public, and family members on how to navigate the Veterans Benefits Administration and Health Administration of Veterans Affairs. I'm presenting to the general public and the world 